Hi everyone. In our previous sessions, we have learned how to use Glide Record object to query and fetch data from a particular table and apply its or update any particular records. So let's remind that first. I am using incident table as an example here. So let's open incident table first. Go to incident table and just open any record. First, we'll apply a filter here. We'll check all active incidents here. So just apply active true filter here. Active is true and just run it. So you'll get some records here. I'm getting 40 records. So whenever you open a record and check the XML of that particular record, all the fields present on that table will be shown in that particular XML, which means all these fields, all this data is available on this record. Okay. So in server script, when you use this glide record object, it will print all the data present in that particular object, okay, on the particular record. So let's see that where gr equals to new glide record of incident table. And we have to write gr dot add query to apply filter. Here I have taken active true filter. So I'm writing the same here. So just write active is true. And then gr dot query. Here we are using Y to return multiple records with the above condition. So for that, we are writing gr.next. So here, gr.next will return all the fields that are present on that particular record in the table. Okay. So let us print an example data here. So while we print gs.print of json.stringify of the object we have used in the client record. So just run this and check what is the data is returning. So here you can see this much data is processed when we are using a client record object. So it will take some time to process all the data available in that particular records. As you can see here, this much data is processed when we are using client record. But actually, when we need a particular fields value, okay, when we want to query any particular records, particular fields value and return that value, we are having a shortcut here. That is glide query. I'll show you how. Just open another window. Scripts background here. And here we'll write new glide query of incident table. And to add query here as we have used gr dot add query here in glide query we will write where and the same filter active is true so this way we can write it and here we can mention what are the fields we need to query okay the particular fields we want okay so here I am mentioning number field as well as we can also get open that field. So just go to that incident and check open fields name. So just fine. Open here. You can see open. Just copy that and paste it here in strings. Once you paste this, only these fields will be queried in this script. And here to apply while here we used while gr.next, right? To in glide query, we use for each instead of while. Okay. And here we will declare a function. And here we need to take any object to print the data. I'm using gr as the object. Now we need to close this in this way. Here we can print gs dot print of the same line we'll print here the JSON of stringify of the object. So just copy the line here and apply here. When we print this, as you can see, number opened at fields value only will be returned, including CCID. Okay. As you can see, only the script returns the number of the incident as well as opened at time and date and the CCID of the particular record. So all the unwanted data will not be processed here while we use glide query. Only the fields we have mentioned in the select select option, only that fields will be returned. Okay. When you use glide record to print that GR object, 
it will process all the data in those records and this will take some time. The latency will be more. So to cut down the time, we use Glide Query instead of Glide Record. So when we're using Glide Query, you can see only the number and open it, which we have mentioned that those data will be returned here. Okay. See, as you can see, I have entered number and opened it. Let's print some message here. You'll see how it will work. So js.printout incident and here I'm writing gr.number plus just write was opened at gr. the field name of opened it. So when you print this, see here you can see incident number was opened at this. Only the fields we have mentioned in the select, those fields will be processed. So which will save us the time. So this way you can use Glide Query, how to return values of any particular fields. So in our next videos, we are going to explore more scenarios and Glide Query. So keep watching. Thank you.